perfect princess day. Starring Annabelle. Yay. In a cozy little castle overlooking fairy town, Annabelle was a princess with a sparkly dress and a crown. Her castle was enchanted. There were wonders everywhere. From the dish that served her breakfast to her fancy floating chair. But best of all, her dearest friend was magical as well. A frisky flying pony with the same name, Annabelle. One morning as the sun came up, the princess cried, Hooray! I've got a special feeling this will be a perfect day. Let's go visit all our friends. Come on, it's time to fly. Then Annabelle spread her wings and soared high into the sky. What fun to glide and dip and dive while waving to the crowds. And enjoy the cotton candy that made from puffy clouds. But soon she felt a raindrop, so she opened up her umbrella. And they floated to the palace of their good friend, Cinderella. Cinderella took them shopping. She loved to buy new shoes. Then they stopped at Sleeping Beauty's house and woke her from her snooze. The three then hopped on Annabelle and darted through the air. To the palace of Rapunzel. And they did each other's hair. They all dropped in to see Snow White, who served them apple pie. And they played some low net volleyball with seven little guys. Just then a tiny messenger flew in to tell them all, the fairy queen invites you to attend the royal ball. In a ballroom filled with flowers, which were beautiful and sweet. There was music, there was laughter, and delicious things to eat. It was such a lovely party that the princess, princess had to say. It really did turn out to be a perfect kind of day. But now the hour is getting late. Oh my, the princess said. We really ought to get back home. It's almost time for bed. She said goodbye to all her friends and thanked the fairies too. You're always welcome here, they said. And then off the princess flew. Returning to her castle home, she hugged her pony tight. I love you, Annabelle, she said. Have a pleasant dream. Good night. Goodbye, Annabelle. Love you, Annabelle.